Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we have some pretty crazy stuff to talk about. The Twitter account, Krimar, has posted some nutty leaks, all to do with the new rogue, Mac, who is going to be entering the game possibly pretty soon. There's a lot of other really exciting things in this video as well, like some new game modes, some of the season two stuff. There's a load of stuff in this league. So if you like the video, give us a like. If you want to see more, then do subscribe as well. But let's just get straight into the video and see what Kramar has dug up for us. So it all started with this tweet here. 2.32 gigabytes of PTS stuff got uploaded and Krimar got straight to work bringing us that juicy goodness. There will be some things that I skip over in this video, mainly just some small cosmetic things and some stuff for the store, things like that. If you want to see everything, then I'll link Krimar's Twitter in the description down below. So one of the first bits are these avatars. Now, a lot of them include this Justicar logo here, which seems to be a new faction that we're going to see a lot more of as we get through some more of these leaks. Also, a lot of this Rogue Company logo in red. That seems really cool as well. Also, I just want to say this one here is going to be Max Mastery Avatar, which is pretty cool. So then we have some banners. We have a few really cool ones here with that red Rogue Company logo showing up again with what looks like the Justicar logo inside it. So as a guess, I would say this is going to be the reward for Mac and his mastery. All really, really cool. Personally, this tattoo one seems dope in my opinion. And then the skins were posted. And this is where we get to have our first look at Mac. So here he is, these two here. This is his default skin with the steel shoulder pads. And this looks like maybe a rare skin for him with the camouflage. I think it looks dope. As well as this, the other rogues get some fantastic skins as well. My personal favorite being a Ronin main is the Ronin kind of like prison skin. That looks really cool. And the Lancer skins look so cool. So I'm excited for that. But all of these look great as well. Now it's possible that one of these skins is the end of season reward for the next season pass. I, it could be the Ronin skin. It could be the Chak skin. It could be the Glitch skin. I don't think it's going to be Phantom because it's so similar to Deadly Idol. I don't think it's going to be the Lancer just because there's two variations of it. Do let me know in the comments, which skin are you most excited for? Personally, it's Ronin for me. Then there are some gliders. If this fire one is animated, that's going to be a really popular one. Then the weapon wraps. These are really cool. So we have a few melee wraps. Uh, they all look fairly basic. And then we have the primary skins. Again, a lot are quite basic, but this one is very exciting. This looks like RGB primary wrap, which will go perfect with the RGB melee wrap from the season one battle pass. And I'm hoping they'll do an RGB secondary wrap at some point as well, which would be fantastic. There is also the gold and black primary wrap, which if you zoom in, does seem to be Skaduchi branded and it's got the dollar signs on it, which is super sweet. There are some nice secondary skins here. This one in particular for me looks really nice, like a glossed black, looks really sleek, really clean. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with these ones. I think they look quite cool. And then we've got the emotes. We can see Max Mastery Emote down on the bottom right here and a couple of pretty cool ones here. My chat seemed pretty excited about this one. Personally, I think this, which looks like a thumbs down, double thumbs down, looks pretty fun to me. Rogue Company are very good at making emotes that promote toxicity, I'll tell you that. And so that is all of the cosmetic stuff leaked. Next, we're going to get into the details about Mac, the new rogue in Rogue Company. So the first thing to leak were some renders of his weapon and this bad boy. This is a Claymore, a massive two-handed sword, which is going to be an absolute beast in Rogue Company. And then he's grouped up all of the bits that come with Mac. So we've got the avatar, the spray, the default skin, the skin. So this is everything that you can expect to get when you go for level 10 Mac mastery. But then posted by Die Hard GG, 
and leaked by a player called Mayit. This is some in-game screenshots from Mac with his entire kit, uh, all his perks, his weapons, his weapon stats, all leaked for us to enjoy. And as Die Hard says, his kit is definitely bloated. Let's get into it and just see what kind of things we can expect from Mac. So he's the right hand of Justicar. Mac is an incorruptible, unstoppable force determined to uphold justice. Cool. His active ability is Light Bomb. It plants a device that charges up and launches a massive flashbang a short distance into the air. There are a few things that could change this from being great to being a whiff, and that is the size of the area of effect. It does say massive, so I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty big, and how high this charge flies into the air before detonation. As well as that, how long it takes to charge up. So we'll see, there are a few things that could be played with to balance this. Uh, it sounds like it's gonna be a fantastic tool to breach quite difficult sites to breach. So this could be really good. We don't know whether Anvil will be immune to this. However, because it is a massive flashbang and not something different, I would assume he will be immune to this. Another thing I'm really excited to know is, will we be able to destroy this light bomb before it explodes? If I see Mac throw this light bomb in the center of a site, am I going to be able to shoot it out to stop it from disrupting my team? All of those variables will have a big impact on whether Mac is going to be a successful character or not. So let's move on to his passive. This is the thing that makes him very, very powerful in my opinion. His passive is standard issue. He starts the game with 25 armor. As well as that, downing enemies instantly repairs his armor. This means that level one, right out of the gate, Matt can survive grenades, C4s, Semtex. He can survive a direct hit from any melee. He can survive Ronin's knife. He can take two shots from Kestrel's ability. And of course, he can take a little bit more punishment from every other source of damage. Now, what it doesn't make clear in this is whether repairing his armor is possible by crouching and using the repair armor button as it is with the headstrong perk. Personally, I think it will be. It is armor. It's not a special new thing. It is just armor. And it does seem to be a feature of armor that you can repair. Vi's armor, of course, does not have this feature, but that's because it is something slightly different. But I do know people that think that it is not going to be possible. Uh, mainly because they think it means he's going to be crazy OP. I must say a Dahlia link with Mac on the first round is going to be absolutely huge. So let's get on to his weapons. We have his brand new weapon, the Conviction, and the Objection, which of course is Dahlia's SMG. I mean, you can imagine two Objection-wielding maniacs with 25 armor, one of which can be rezzed, running at you is going to be terrifying. So Dahlia is going to be a big fan of Mac when he releases. But of course, most people probably aren't going to use the objection with him. They're likely going to use the conviction. So let's have a little look at some of these stats. Here we have the stats for the conviction. Now, it is an LMG, which is really cool. This is the second LMG in the game. And like the other LMG, it has a very big mag size, 50 rounds in mag. So these numbers are cool, but how do they compare to other guns in the game? With the Conviction being an LMG, the most logical thing to compare it to will be the Moor, which is Anvil's LMG at the moment. It's not the most direct comparison. I'll get to which one will be in just a second, but we'll start with the Moor. So the stats on the MLX Moor are completely different to the Conviction. The body damage is 16 rather than the Conviction's 25. The fire rate is a little bit higher, 11 to 7.14. The range, 18 to 20, about the same. The handling, roughly the same, 26 on the more and 30 on the Conviction. The mag size, about the same, 60 on this with 50 on the Conviction, which about makes sense considering the fire rate is higher on the more and the reload time, four seconds to 3.2. So it is a good comparison. And you can see that while they are both LMGs, they will both serve different purposes. However, the closest gun to the Conviction is not the MLX Moor, but the Sahara Assault Rifle. Now, the body damage is pretty much exactly the same. 
24 on the Sahara, 25 on the Conviction. Now, the Conviction will be able to kill in four bullets, whereas the Sahara is, of course, five bullets to kill. The fire rate's about the same, 7.25 to 7.14. The range, about the same. The handling, about the same. The mag size, completely different. But the reload time on the Sahara is quite a bit faster than the Conviction. Of course, it's an LMG. Now, one thing we don't have that I really wish they did were the upgrades for this gun and what happens when you spend a bit more money on upgrading this gun's power. So it looks like the Conviction is going to be an absolute beast compared to the Sahara, but there is one small detail that is going to make a massive difference on the way that this gun plays in any competition. The Conviction light machine gun gains accuracy as it fires, which tends to mean the accuracy it starts with is going to be poor. That is very worrying to me. In a game like Rogue Company, where it can take four bullets to kill someone, the amount of times that you're going to be able to shoot a reasonable amount of a 50 round mag to get to the accuracy that is required to consistently hit shots on a target. I don't know, man, it's going to be tough. Now, at close range, this thing is going to be a beast. 7.14 fire rate with 25 body damage. If you hit your first four or first five shots, you're going to be unstoppable. And of course, this is without factoring in headshots. But man, these guns that gain accuracy as they fire are not my favorite. Do let me know in the comments down below. Is this going to be something that will put you off using Mac? Or do you see situations where this can be useful? The rest of his kit includes the Warrant Pistol, that beast of a Claymore that we've seen in the previous renders, which apparently is going to do 70 damage at max upgrade, which is insane. Albeit fitting, considering it is a massive two-handed sword. A quick note on the Claymore as well, it does have 100 throw damage, apparently, which to me means that it is throwable, just to let you know. Then he has the frag grenade, the APS trophy system. So now it's going to be possible to have up to seven trophy systems on a map at one time for your team. That's going to be a pain. And his perks, Berserker, which makes him reload faster. Toughen up, he takes less melee damage. Bounce back, he regens health quicker. Stalker, ADS walking is faster. Replenish is going to be a big one for him. He instantly reloads when he downs or elims an enemy. With the 50 round mag and considering that the light machine gun gains accuracy as it fires, this is going to be massive if he can continue firing, get a down, reload, get in a limp, reload, transfer the spray onto another target and continue firing at that boosted accuracy. That could be a really powerful perk for Mac. And then replenish, which means that it is actually possible for Mac to get even more trophy systems than the seven that we talked about before. That is going to be a huge pain if people do decide to do that. But there we have it. That is Max kit. We've seen a lot of Max cosmetics and we've seen his kit as well. What do you guys think? Do you think he's going to fit into the meta? Is he going to be a problem? Is he not going to be a problem? Who do you think is going to counter this guy? Let me know in the comments down below. Just before we move on to the other exciting things we have as well, uh, I just want to speak about the voice lines this guy has. So, Krimar posted this video, six seconds long, and it just says, Mac. Given that this guy looks like an absolute giga chad, I was definitely expecting his voice lines to reflect that. Uh, this was a surprise. <laughs> what the fresh yeah, that surprised me. There are some voice lines that he found a little later, which sound a bit more like what I was expecting. I'll play you a couple of those now. It is a two minute video. So if you want to see all of them, then please do check out Krimar on Twitter. Link is in the description for him. We play this by the book. No exceptions. Ye lot are on the right side of the law. You're a right dunderhead. So that's a bit more what I was expecting. I have no idea where the blowing raspberries comes in at all. So there are a couple of other really big things that I want to speak about quickly as well. This is an image of one of the new maps coming, Breach. It looks like a rogue company base that has been attacked. So we visited Hollows, which was a Jackal base that was attacked. And now we're visiting a rogue company base that's seemingly been attacked by Jackal. So it will be very interesting to get some more lore. There are upcoming limited time mode file names. These are so exciting. KOTH which has got to be king of the hill. 
TDM, which is Team Deathmatch, Slayer, and Sword Cult, which is in a folder called Zombie. And then we have this, which seems to be another arms dealer style event planned for the summer. Uh, it has four free packs, it has four paid packs, and it has a grand prize, which I'm assuming again is for completing all of the packs. As far as I'm aware, the reception for the arms dealer event has not been amazing. So we'll see how this goes. But it looks like they're planning to do a similar thing. And then we have some sound files from a weapon called the Chaos Launcher. Seems interesting. Don't really know what that's about at the moment. Apparently, it's possible to equip a launcher that fires a napalm warhead. Sounds like a beast. We get confirmation here that King of the Hill is coming to the game. And then we get these three. Onslaught. Deathmatch. Capture the flag. Capture the flag, baby! Woo! That's going to be good fun. Provided they sort the spawns out. And then there's the Season 2 Ranked Demolition Maps. Now, Prison is a map that is included here. Breach is the map that we saw earlier, and it seems like Arena is making its way back into the competitive circuit. But that is pretty much it. There are a couple of things I did brush over, so please do check out Krimar's Twitter if you are interested in finding out about all of this crazy stuff that he's found in this league. But let me know, out of all of this crazy stuff that we talked about, what is the thing that excites you the most? Personally, I am really looking forward to using that claymore i think that's going to be a lot of fun and of course as a ronin main the ronin skin's got to do it for me too right but let me know what you enjoyed the most thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate you and we will see you in the next video see you later